Welcome back. We are going to be talking again about systems of equations using the elimination method. Okay, go ahead and write down our first example. And while you're writing it down, please notice that in this system of equations, our system is not lined up in um, like columns. So the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to rewrite. All right, our first uh, equation looks like it's in the proper order. We have the x term first, the y term second, the equal sign, and then our constant term. So we're going to leave that guy just exactly the way he is. That second equation, we are going to rearrange so that our terms match our first equation. So we'll write that as 2x plus y equals 19. Okay, step two is to get one column of variables to be opposites, but it looks like our y's are already opposites. So we'll move on to step three, which is add up our columns. x plus 2x is going to give us 3x. Our y's are opposites, so they cancel each other out. And our constants, when we add 11 plus 19, gives us 30. We'll do a quick inverse operation of divide by 3 on both sides and find out that x equals 10. Okay, now that we know that x value, we're going to take that and substitute it into one of our other equations. I'm just going to pick the second equation because I can write right underneath it and fill in my value. y plus 2 times my x value is equal to 19. That gives me y plus 20 equals 19. I'm going to subtract 20 on both sides my 20's on the left will cancel each other out, which leaves me with y equals negative 1. I'm now going to take my solution and write that as an ordered pair. Remember, we want those to be in alphabetical order, so we'll have 10, negative 1. Don't forget, we can check our solution by substituting it into both of our equations to make sure that it checks out for both. All right, here we go with example 2. Please write this one in your notes. And on this one, I'm looking at step one, get equations lined up in columns. We are already in columns. P's are together, R's are together, constants are together. Number two, get one column of variables to be opposites. Now, I am noticing that my R terms have opposite signs, but when I add them together, they will not zero each other out, so they're not true opposites. That means we're going to need to multiply by something to create those opposites. I'm looking at the R's and I'm noticing that both 5 and 3 will go into 15. So I'm going to take the top equation and I'm going to multiply every term by 3 to create a negative 15R in the R column. When I multiply, that's going to give me 9P minus 15R or plus negative 15R if you prefer equals 33. In my second equation, in order to create a positive 15 that will be, make opposites in our R column, we can multiply by a positive 5. Okay, that's going to give me 20P plus 15R is equal to 25. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add up my columns. In the P's, I get 29P, my R's will cancel each other out, and on the other side, I get 58. Okay, I'm going to do a quick inverse operation and divide both sides by 29. The 29's on the left will cancel out, and 58 divided by 29 equals 2. Okay, now that I know that p-value, I'm going to substitute that into one of my original equations to find the value of r. I like positives, so I'm going to take and substitute that p-value into the second equation. So 4 times my p-value plus 3r equals 5. 8 plus 3r equals 5, and now I'm going to subtract 8 on both sides. That's going to cancel out these 8's, and I'll have 3r equals negative 3. Divide both sides by 3, cancel, 
and r is equal to negative 1. Now, I need to write my um, answer as an ordered pair, and I need to remember to put them in alphabetical order. P comes before R in the alphabet, so my solution is going to be 2, negative 1. All right, here we go with example 3, and once again, it looks like we are going to need to rearrange at least one of our equations. That second equation looks like it's in a pretty good order, so let's leave that one alone. 10g minus 7h is equal to negative 18. On that first equation, we need to move the g over to the other side to join the h and get in the right order. So we will remember that when we move a term from one side of the equal sign to the other, we need to use an inverse operation to do so. So I'm going to add 5g on both sides. All right, and then that's going to give me 5g plus h. Remember, these are opposites, so they cancel each other out will be equal to 9. Okay, now I also still need to create um, opposites in one of my columns. And I'm thinking that in the h column here, I've got a 1h and a negative 7h. If I multiply that top equation by 7, then I will be creating the opposites that I need. So I'm going to rewrite that, and multiplying will give me 35g plus 7h is equal to 63. That second equation, I'm going to rewrite exactly the way it was, but put it underneath so it'll be easier to add. Now I'm going to add my columns. Keep in mind that my 7h and negative 7h are opposites, which will cancel each other out. When I add my other columns, I get 45g is equal to 45. Dividing both sides by 45 is my last step here, and I will get g equals 1. Now that I know that g value, I'm going to take that and substitute it into one of my original equations. I like the first one, h is equal to negative 5g plus 9. When I substitute in my g value, I have h is equal to negative 5 times 1 plus 9, h equals negative 5 plus 9, h equals 4. Okay, my last step is to write my solution as an ordered pair in alphabetical order, which will be 1, 4. Okay, let's take a look at our last example for today. Uh, when I look at step number 1, getting our equations lined up in columns, that is not done for us. So I think I'm going to rearrange that top equation to create those nice neat columns. I think I can subtract 2x on both sides in order to make that happen, which will give me negative 2x plus y equals 6. The second equation, I'm just going to rewrite. Negative 4x plus 2y equals negative 6. Okay, now step number 2 is to get one column of variables to be opposites, and they are not opposites. I am going to multiply that first equation by a negative 2 to create the opposites I need. I'm going to rewrite that down below here. Negative 2 times negative 2x gives me 4x plus negative 2y is equal to negative 12. I'm going to rewrite the second equation as is negative 4x plus 2y equals negative 6. I'm going to go ahead and add up my columns. Now. My x's are opposites, so they're going to cancel each other out. My y's, however, are also opposites, which means they will also cancel each other out. Negative 12 plus negative 6 is going to give me negative 18. That means I get 0 is equal to negative 18, and we all know what that means, right? No solution. Even Chloe agrees. Alright guys, good luck and have a great day.